Hello and welcome to today's webinar, Finding Work During COVID-19. My name is Simone and I'm a Transitions Coach here at Youth Projects. I help young people find sustainable work and education. So today we will cover um, where things are at um, with businesses and what they have implemented in order to support people in work and ensure their safety and health. Um, we'll have a look at different jobs and industries to avoid looking at um, at the moment due to closures such as in the hospitality industry and um, retail. We'll look at different industries that are booming right now as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. And then we'll move on to looking at your transferable skills and how important these are when looking for a new job, particularly if you haven't worked in that industry before. We'll then move on to where to apply for jobs um, and how to apply for jobs. And um, lastly, just have a look at um, identifying any licenses and courses that you can um, focus on doing right now to improve your employability. So where things are at at the moment, um, we do know that businesses need to keep operating. Uh, they want to keep operating. Um, there are roles still being offered and people are starting work. It's happening at a much slower rate though. So I think um, keep having a look on, um, you know, your Go to websites like Seek and Indeed, um, you'll still see new jobs being posted um, and hopefully as time goes on, um, restrictions do start to ease and you will um, start seeing the jobs that you really want start to get posted. Um, we do know that um, many retail um, stores have closed down um, completely. Um, gyms and um, hospitality businesses also not operating um, as per usual. Um, however, we've noticed that cafes and restaurants have adopted a alternative servicing such as takeaway only. Um, so there are some positions available in those industries, um, but very, very limited right now. We also know that a lot of businesses are adopting um, uh, social distancing measures and um, other precautions to ensure the safety of their staff. For example, Serco, um, which is a call center, they have implemented a 1.5 social distancing between desks. Um, they have regular temperature checks and they're also cleaning quite frequently as well. So um, do know that employers want to keep you safe. And if you are a bit worried about working um, and you're worried, you're, in, you're quite fearful for your own safety, um, just know that employers want to keep you safe and they're, um, they're making all the right um, decisions to keep you safe. Um, and just lastly here, remember that the current situation is temporary. Um, we will slowly see things start to ease. Um, so try to stay optimistic and really positive at this time. And if you're not looking to work, um, focus on doing something else that's gonna keep you positive and productive. Um, have a look at doing some hobbies or an online course or something, um, because this will help you in the long run when things do start to um, go back to normal and employers do start uh, recruiting again, they'll wanna know what you did in the time in isolation. So they want, they'll wanna know that you've been productive and that you've been thinking about the future as well. So reasons to work. Um, I'm sure a lot of you at the moment are probably sick of being home um, and are quite bored at the moment. So you want to get out of the house. Um, you're probably spending a lot of time or more, more time than usual with your family. So um, they might be um, just driving you up the wall at the moment. So a good excuse to get out of the house is to work. 
Um, another thing is you might want to gain some independence over your own life. Um, that could be financial independence. That could just be having your own thing to focus on um, that gives you the opportunity to feel um, like you've got a bit of autonomy. Another thing, um, learning new skills and building confidence um, just by starting a new, a new skill. Um, you might find new interests and um, it might take you in a whole new direction in your life. So um, a really great um, thing to do when working is um, have a think about what types of things you enjoy about that job as well. Um, a really big one for the moment is social interaction. I think that a lot of people are really craving social interaction at the moment. And um, I think that um, although people are, you know, utilising um, uh, apps and um, FaceTime and things like that to stay connected in a face-to-face -face capacity, um, it does not, um, it's just not the same as being in person in front of someone. So um, that's another reason why you, I'm sure you would want to work um, and also make some new friends as well. Um, another thing here could be giving you something to focus on uh, and even a distraction from what's going on right now. Um, I'm sure you're sick of everything that's coming out of the media and you just want to um, think about something else. So that could be a really great uh, reason to work right now. And um, a big one would be money. A lot of you, I'm sure, live on your own where you've got commitments that you need to, um, commitment to make, commitments to make, like paying rent, paying bills, um, even getting to work as well if you, you are working at the moment. So um, a massive incentive is money. Um, or you might want to move out of home. Um, so it's putting some savings together to, to move out as well. So that's a really big one, um, a big reason to work. Another one here would be getting off Centrelink. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have had so many issues in the past when dealing with Centrelink, whether it's um, being stuck on the phone for three hours um, and then getting cut off halfway through or having to go into a Centrelink office and spend half a day there to only get a small task completed. Um, so that is um, a massive <laughs> reason to get off Centrelink. Um, so have a think about that as well when um, think, thinking about finding work. And lastly, here we've got motivation and improving your general well-being. Um, just going to work every day and um, giving you a bit of purpose can be so beneficial to your well-being, um, particularly right now when a lot of people are being stuck at home. They're, um, they don't have the same routines as they usually do um, and they're kind of needing something to, to get them out of their, um, I guess, out of being stuck doing nothing. Um, we're also seeing a massive increase in um, with anxiety and depression right now. Um, so I think having the opportunity to work can really help um, improve those um, symptoms as well. Um, and um, just keep you, keep you um, going every day. So we'll just move on to different, well, different industries to avoid looking at right now. So we know that retail stores, um, while some of them are still operating, they're not all open. Um, supermarkets and bottle shops are probably your only um, retail stores that are looking right now. So definitely still apply for your Coles, Aldi and Woolworths. Um, they are still hiring, so focus on those if you want to work on retail. Um, but any, you know, general clothing stores or your general retail stores, um, they won't be looking. Hospitality, we know that restaurants, uh, bars, cafes all close down. Um, and as I said before, they do have uh, takeaway options available. Um, but they, they, they aren't really looking uh, for new staff at the moment. Um, and you will see limited 
limited uh, jobs on um, job search websites. Trades, uh, while we know that they are still operating, uh, we, from what we've heard from uh, business owners is that they're not willing to take on new employees or new apprentices right now. Um, and this is uh, particularly due to the economic uh, uncertainty um, around that as well. So a lot of businesses are kind of just waiting to see how things um, things uh, kind of fall, fall into place. Um, before they're willing to take on new apprentices at the moment, but definitely still look if that's something that you um, you were wanting to do, um, because there are some apprentices um, finding work, but um, uh, that one's quite limited as well. Gyms, so we know that gyms have closed down and they aren't taking on new staff, um, whether that's in a personal training role or even at a customer service sitting at front desk, um, no gym roles available. Hair and beauty, um, we know beauty salons have closed down completely. Hair salons are open, but um, they aren't really looking for new apprentices at the moment or new staff. Um, so best to avoid looking for uh, those roles as well. And we know that airlines have completely closed, um, closed down and won't be looking for any new staff right now. So the industries in demand right now would be in call centres. Uh, if you're looking for retail, a call centre role could be a really great um, gateway into that um, industry. It is customer fa uh, sorry customer focused and um, directly related to um, uh, the same areas that retail would be related to um, age care which is a really rewarding career to get into um, you'd be helping people every day um, so if you wanted to work in the community service sector, aged care would be a really great gateway um, or stepping stone to get into that. And even if you had, um, if you were looking for hospitality, aged care facilities are looking for people um, in their in the kitchens. So um, have a look at aged care when you're searching for jobs as well, um, which can be found in the community services link on Seek. Um, warehousing and factory work, um, there's been quite a huge increase in um, these particular roles. Um, this could be due to a lot more people spending money on online shopping. So a lot of um, businesses have had a quite a demand in um, uh, needing those online orders. So they've put, um, they've hired quite a few people to um, to help in the warehouse. So um, if you're looking for trade or working trades or um, you want some physical work, warehousing and factory work could be quite a good option for you right now. Um, if you've got your forklift license, there are plenty of forklift operator roles available as well. Uh, supermarkets, we know that supermarkets are looking for a lot of people right now for um, customer service roles or if you just want to um, stock shelves. Um, there are quite a few jobs available at Aldi um, and Coles and Woolworths were also looking quite a few weeks ago. Um, I'm not sure what the current update is on this, um, but Aldi definitely are looking for people right now. Administration, um, if you are quite good with computers um, and even if you wanted to get into IT eventually, um, admin could be a good option for you. There are plenty of um, working from home options with administration. So if you um, were more comfortable in your home environment or you don't wanna leave your house uh, right now, admin could be a really good option. And there are plenty of cleaning jobs as well. So what if these jobs aren't right for me? So um, because these the industries are quite limited at the moment, um, we are looking at um, alternative jobs that could be helpful 
um, helpful to you finding your dream job or your goal job um, one day. So although working in these jobs um, won't, in, um, sorry, these jobs won't interest you, um, it will be beneficial to you because you will be building skills, you'll be putting something on your resume um, and you'll be making new friends as well. So um, even if it's just something as little as getting out of the house to keep you um, preoccupied and keep you motivated, um, you know, finding a job, any job right now could be um, really beneficial to you, um, especially if you have bills that you need to pay. Um, and also these jobs, although they're, they're not what you want to do um, and you might not think it, it, they will be beneficial to you finding the right job one day. When I was looking for my first job when I was 16, I wanted to work in the retail sector. Um, I had no experience at all. Um, and I was successful finding work in a fast food um, outlet. Um, I really didn't want to work there, but um, it ended up being one of the best jobs I ever had. I made friends um, that I'm still friends with 10 to 15 years later. Um, I learnt life skills, um, personal skills. Um, it improved my professional development. Um, and it helped me get into retail eventually. So I think the thing with this is just keep in mind that your first job um, or one of your first jobs is never going to be your dream job. No one ever really dreams of working at McDonald's or dreams of working in a fast food outlet. Um, but the opportunities that it can um, create for you are quite endless. And um, I would definitely recommend um, taking on any job. Um, because you never know where it will go and you might even like it. So what important skills are required for all of these three jobs? So all of these jobs or industries even um, are quite different. Um, we know that, you know, plumbing is a very physical role um, and on the other end here is call centre, which is um, very much about communicating. So um let's look at the skills that are required to be successful in these roles so firstly here would be good communication skills so this would be um, listening um, speaking in a very clear and concise way um, that the other person can understand um, your body language facial expressions are all really important and part of your communication skills so communication um, skills are required or are beneficial for you in any industry you work in or any job you work in, um, even if you, you're not um, you know, serving customers every day. Um, if you're working in a trade or a plumbing position, you are still communicating with clients um, or um, other team members as well. So having good communication skills is really important. Good time management. Um, so this would be completing tasks that have been set for you and um, completing them in the time frame that has been set. So these can be um, tasks that you've set yourself um, or goals that you've set yourself or tasks that have been set by your manager or someone else. Um, so this is really important in a lot of different industries as well. Um, and it doesn't have to be um, like a project or something that you've been worked on. It could be something that, um, you know, your manager has asked you to do um, something quite small that doesn't seem um, like a big thing, but having time management skills is still really important um, to be successful within that role. And lastly here, I've put teamwork skills. So this is sharing the workload between you and your team members. Um, so, um, this could be, um, treating your, treating your team fairly, um, and getting along with your team. And that goes back to your communication skills as well. Um, and making sure everyone's sharing the workload. So these are all different kinds of transferable skills. So your transferable skills are the types of skills that you learn in 
um, in everyday life. They could be um, skills that you've learned at home um, or growing up. They could be skills that you've learned at, um, at school um, or outside activities, um, playing sports um, or even in a job as well. So teamwork, um, communication, initiative, enthusiasm, reliability, responsibility, um, punctual and efficiency are all different types of transferable skills. Um, there are plenty of others. I've just put in the basics here. Um, so I think in terms of identifying your transferable skills, you can um, have a think about how you operate in, um, in your daily life, even at home, how you communicate with your family, um, how, you, how you work with your family as well, um, or even classmates at school. Initiative could be something like um, if you see something that needs to be done um, and you complete it, will you go and action it without being told? Um, that's another really important thing um, in, that can help you find a job. So I think the really important thing to note here is that um, with your transferable skills, these can actually be seen as more important to a employer or a potential employer than having previous experience. So if you're looking for your first job um, or looking for a job within a new industry, um, that employer will look at your transferable skills over what experience you've had. Um, and I think there are studies that actually suggest that employers are more likely to to actually take you on based on your transferable skills. So I think um, a really good thing to have a think about is what transferable skills do you do well and what can you highlight on your resume um, and what you think that employer will, um, would like to see. So I've just added here that communication, reliability and enthusiasm, they're all really important to all the roles and all the industries on the right hand side of the page. Um, so no matter what industry it is, these transferable skills are all going to be um, extremely useful. So let's just have a look here at some alternative jobs, um, particularly for right now, um, if you wanted to work in um, retail or um, hospitality. Um, they are predominantly customer service based roles where you are um, communicating with people on a daily basis. Um, so we've just got some roles that you could do right now, um, which could help you get there um, one day. So call centres, aged care, supermarkets, bottle shops, these are all very customer service based roles. Um, they're all people based roles um, and they all require you to have um, communication skills. Um, they all require you to have um, re reliability. Um, they all require you to have initiatives. So um, those transferable skills can help you get into these roles, um, which can later help you get into um, the jobs you really want, like retail or hospitality. Um, so think of it as a stepping stone to, um, to get to the job that you really want one day. Um, so let's have a look at um, some trades. So I've just added here different types of trades. Um, we've got plumbing, building and carpentry, electrical and landscaping. Um, although these are still people-based roles, um, they are quite physical as well. So there are some other alternatives that you could do right now, like warehousing, um, particularly pickpacking or even forklift operator, um, if you have your license. Um, a labouring type role could be directly um, beneficial as well because you would have to have an understanding of um, industry tools. Um, which could also be really beneficial to you when you um, decide to go into a apprenticeship as well. I've also added in supermarkets, um, which might not seem like it would be relevant to working in a trade, but um, no matter what your first job is, um, it's always going to be beneficial to the job that you want. Um, so a supermarket role, whether you're 
um, working at the register, um, working with people or you're stacking shelves, um, an owner of a, a trade business is still going to look at that and think that is um, a really good, um, really good experience that you've had and would be more likely to take you on um, than having no experience or um, experience in a completely different field. So where do you apply for jobs? Um, the first one I've added here is Working Victoria. Um, it's a job reg registry site. Um, a lot of got government jobs up there. So if you're looking for um, some particular trades or um, other jobs that the government um, are looking for at the moment, there are plenty of traineeships as well um, that the Victorian government look for. Um, jump onto that website and register and you'll get all the information sent to you about different jobs and different, avail um, sorry, different vacancies that are available at the moment. Uh, the Jobs Hub website, um, a lot of these jobs are due to, um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So there's a lot of cleaning jobs, um, a lot of call center jobs um, and other jobs that we've already discussed. Um, there is very, a very large list of jobs. So I definitely recommend that you jump on there and have a look. Um, Seek, um, which is your um, job search website, um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar. If you're not, jump on and create an account. You do need an account to apply for jobs, so um, I recommend you go on, create an account, upload your resume, um, and Indeed is another one as well where you can um, search and apply for jobs. If you are needing some assistance writing your resume or your cover letter, um, we're actually holding a resume writing webinar next week on the 6th of May at 2 p.m. So we will send out a link to register for that, um, that webinar and you can do so and hopefully we'll see you there. Um, and also if you need any other information or assistance, finding um, finding jobs that you are looking for, ask your coach and they can help you. So in some particular jobs or industries, a, um, a license or an additional um, certificate um, may be required. So with many trades, um, a pre-app will be required if you don't have one and you're looking to get into a trade, I would definitely use this time to um, jump onto some different um, TAFEs and um, universities and see what's available um, and if there's any online pre-apps available at the moment because that could, this could be a good time for you to um, start those courses um, while you're kind of um, in isolation and might be a bit bored. All trades and construction do require a white card, which is your safety induction card. Um, this usually takes, um, it's usually a day on site um, to complete, and I think it costs about $100 to $150. Um, but definitely, um, if you're looking to get into a trade or construction type role, um, you can just search that online and apply. If you're looking to get into a hospitality-based role, such as um, a bartending role, you need an RSA, so your responsibility service alcohol. Um, if you're looking for um, a cafe-based role, you can um, complete a barista course. However, this is not essential, um, but it will increase your chances of finding work. So those courses you can actually do online. I think the RSA starts at about $50, you can complete that in a couple of hours. So this is a really great time to um, get those courses completed as well. So just some tips here. Um, if you were stood down in your position um, earlier this year, or um, if you had a, a job last year, um, I would definitely recommend that you stay in contact with the manager because they will um, they will be looking to take on staff eventually um, when normality starts to resume. So um, you're probably going to be the first point of contact um, if they do want to start um, hiring again. Um, so stay in contact with your manager. 
If you're not looking for work right now, you don't want to work or feel comfortable, I highly recommend that you stay motivated by improving your transferable skills. Um, so that could be even um, building your resume or um, writing, writing a new resume, um, having a go at identifying what your transferable skills and trying to improve them at home even. Um, so you can do this with your family um, or just on, in your own personal time. Um, you can even focus on a hobby. This doesn't have to be directly related to a job in any way, but um, it'll keep you positive and it'll keep you motivated. So um, even if you wanted to, you know, try and do something creative or, um, you know, learn a new language or something, that's, it's the perfect time to do all of those things. Um, and I've even got here, um, start a new course or a start an online course. There are plenty of courses available online at the moment. Um, we hosted a webinar last week on um, finding online courses and what courses are available at the moment. So if you do, um, if you if you want to hear that, um, please get in contact with your coach and they can make that available for you. Um, and finally, I've just got um, stay positive. So remember that things will eventually start to pick up again. I think in the next couple of weeks, we will start to see a bit of an ease on restriction and hopefully, um, you know, the, the start to um, normality does begin and hopefully we do see that light in the, um, in the tunnel. So I think the best thing to do is to stay positive. You're not alone. Everyone else um, is in the same boat as you at the moment. And if you're feeling a bit down about not being successful um, with finding any work, um, it will happen eventually. And just focus on um, doing other things that can keep you in a really good headspace and um, focus on your well-being right now. So I've just added in an action for you. So have a think about um, what you'd like to do. If there's any, if you've got a career plan or if there's a job that you'd want to do, have a look into what jobs are available at the moment. Um, you might want to just jump onto Seek and have a look to see who's hiring, what's there. Um, and based on what we discussed in um, about alternative jobs, um, see if you can identify some alternative jobs for what you want to do. So that's the end of the webinar. Thank you and good luck. Um, I hope that this was um, insightful and was helpful um, for you while you're in isolation. Um, if there's anything that you need further clarification on um, or you have any other questions, please get in contact with your coach. Um, or myself, um, and we would be happy to answer any of your questions. So thank you.